Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 22 September 2023. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly Senior Deputy Editor Skulk Berger reveals how funding has increased for small business energy solutions as the investment case improves. Different renewable energy, energy storage and generator solutions can partially address small businesses' energy-related challenges, and funding to install such solutions in small businesses is increasing as the investment benefits for all parties become better understood. The engineering news features focus on hydrogen fuel cells and the green economy, where the hydrogen vision paves the way for green technology transformation. And heating, ventilation, air conditioning and refrigeration, where the phasing out of HCFCs in air conditioning units continues. The Mining Weekly features focus on a preview of the Joburg in Daba, which is set to address key mining industry challenges. And mining in Zambia, where an explorer commences a soil sampling campaign. This week's business leader is Heidi Zierbogel, head of New Ways of Working at Nedbank. And as this week's cartoon shows, the collapse in the performance of Transnet is well documented. The state-owned freight logistics group has been left broke and broken, and there are growing indications that it too will be seeking some form of bailout at some point. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.